Hi everyone, thanks for joining me and thanks for clicking play on this video. This is another uh, editing quick tip for you. I'll try and keep this nice and short and sweet because I know everyone's really busy. But this is one particular thing that I is, is actually a bit of a lifesaver um, when it comes to editing images um, that are silhouette shots. So I'd classify this one as a semi-silhouette because the subject isn't completely outlined against the sky. Um, there are some areas of detail. Um, but I still do want the subject quite dark. If we zoom in and have a look, we can see that even though I've pulled the shadows right down, so I've tried to actually make the subject as dark as I can, if I went the other way I'd be pulling the shadows in there. Um, but because it's semi-silhouette, we want that subject nice and dark. So we can use the adjustment brush uh, in Lightroom. Let's go up here and click the adjustment brush and I want the exposure to be right down and the saturation to be right down as well because we don't want any sort of colour coming through there as well. We want the, we want the subject to be completely black. Um, one handy little thing um, that will just make a huge difference to your editing workflow is the auto mask feature here. Um, so this will mean you can paint into a particular object and Lightroom will be clever enough to realise that um, where the edges of that object are. So just for example, I'm going to start brushing in on the dog here and you'll see that even though I do put the brush over the edges, it's using that quick mask, sorry, the auto mask to detect the edges and it's actually not putting the adjustment over the edges at all. Which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to finish filling in the dog here. I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. I'm just using the keyboard shortcut for that which is left square brackets on the keyboard. And then I'm going to paint along the tail and you'll see what a great job it does in not going over the edges. It's pretty brilliant really. So that's pretty much it. We've got the outline of the dog basically nice and black, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, have to be more, a little bit more careful going down into the legs here because the, there isn't as much of a difference between the dog and the background. It's actually on the sand there. So I'm just going to be a little bit more precise with the brush down here. And over on this leg as well. Um, yeah, I pretty much think that's it. So if I were to turn that adjustment brush on and off for you, that's before and then that's after. Oops. There we go, that's after. I'll close up and do it as well. So that's before and then that's after. And as you can see, we don't have any bleed of that exposure adjustment outside the boundaries of the dog. There we go, that's it. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, yeah, if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments.